Good evening, Taconic, and welcome back to another episode of Taconic TV. My name is Bill Bonney, and let's get right into today's show. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Today is Friday, March 32nd, and today we have a very serious, very mature show today. There will be no jokes, no ha-has, nothing. We are a news show, and being serious is our duty. <laughs> this week we have Anthony and Jack with the main news. Finally, some new people for once. Then we have Dustin with sports. And then we have Matt Garrity with a special breaking news report. Before we get into all of that, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, guys. As you can probably tell, we have become invisible. I wish I could tell you guys how we did it, but it's a state secret. In other news, Taconic has taken up several new classes, including tax evasion strategies, underwater basket weaving, insurance fraud 101, advanced tunneling, taxidermy with lab, and AP s'mores making. So please make sure to check out these classes next year. Now, we have some important investigative journalism with Matt. We have some breaking news, Taconic. For the past couple of months, the bell has been mysteriously been off by two minutes. Two minutes, that's a lot of time, considering we have to go home and do homework. It seems like the school was trying to keep us here longer than we should. But um, if you don't believe me, which all you should, because we all witnessed it together, here's some video evidence that I captured last week that perfectly show how late the bell was. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how late the bell has been. I, I know I'm not I'm not crazy. Trust me, it's been I spent off two minutes. So usually the bell should this is the fifth period should end around eleven uh fifty-seven. Right. Wait for it, wait for it. Right. There it is. Look, look at that, look at that. It's eleven fifty-nine. It, it went off now. Well, Takak TV wanted to get to the bottom of this, and this is what we found. That is right, folks. Our very own Mrs. Mr. Saborn sneaking into this MDF room, which stores all the school's Wi-Fi and the master clock, and he changed it after school without anyone noticing. What a sneaky fella. Unbelievable. He should think about how us students feel. What's to sleep in later. Who cares? Care about the children. Care about us. Care about Anyway, thank you so much for joining us on this special topic for uh, tonight's episode. And uh, let's head it back to the studio. Hey guys, we're down here. Well, next up we have Sports with Destin. But first, let me interrupt myself, because we have some breaking news. Because of the recent backlash to the new Taconic Thunder, Mr. Bishop has decided to change Taconic's new mascot to the Taconic Generals. 
Our school colors will be light purple and slightly gray. Well, let's get back into the news. Welcome back to General Sports Show. I'm Destin, and let's get right into the news. Today, both the softball team and the girls lacrosse team have their first games, so we wish them the best of luck. Most teams are still practicing for their upcoming games, so we don't have any scores to report. When we do get the scores, we'll be right here to report them. Now let's get into some international news. Last Sunday, the Canadian soccer team got a 4-0 victory against Jamaica, securing their place in the upcoming World Cup for the first time in 36 years. Here is a look at the qualified teams. Qatar is scheduled to be the host country for the 72nd FIFA World Cup competition. Due to Qatar's intense summer heat, this World Cup will be held from late November to mid-December, making it the first tournament not to be held in May, June, or July, and it is to be played in a reduced time frame of around 28 days. The tournament will be the last to involve 32 teams with an increase to 48 teams scheduled for the 2026 tournament in the United States, Mexico, and Canada. The Women's Final Four is happening from April 1st to April 3rd, along with the Men's Final Four from April 2nd to April 4th. March Madness is coming to a close with only three games remaining. Tomorrow, Duke will be playing against North Carolina and Villanova. We'll be playing against Kansas to see which team will make it into the championship. We wish the best of luck to all teams. Hi, my name is... Ah. Hey, hey, how oh. Look at this. Is that a a 2.0 elixir cycle with elite barbarians? <laughs> um, no. Guys, the camera's rolling. D uh, dog! Hello, my name is Jack Bradway, and today I had the great pleasure of interviewing Charlie. Let's go to him. <laughs> and he's on the loose. He's on the loose. Hey. This is going hey. well. Hey. So, Charlie, um, throwing up, hardwood or carpet? <laughs> oh, that was a good answer. Okay, Charlie. Alright, so here's it. We're on a stupid dog! So, uh, Charlie, what do you think of the socio political climate of the dog park? <laughs> ah, well. That, that is interesting. No, Charlie. Charlie. No, Charlie. Come here. Charlie. So, Charlie. Charlie. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> this is by far the stupidest thing we have ever done. And we filmed that Grease segment, okay? So, so Charlie, um, I know you have some inside information. Who let the dogs out? Charles Entertainment Cheese. Well, that was my interview. I hope you guys liked it. Now, back to the show. Now for some serious news. The school system is having a focus group for grades 3 through 12. So if you'd like to participate, click the link in the description. Grades close also today for third quarter. So please, make sure you got your work done. Now for some more silly stuff with Mr. Wojcik with the weather. I'm only happy when it rains. Thanks guys and welcome to Wojcik's weather. Hey, what's going on here today? Uh, I guess I don't know. Uh, does Steve Caparizzo have to go through this? I, I guess I have to be the weather today. Well, we'll go with it. Uh, so you, looking at the national weather map, you can see these highs out in the west up on my chest. And as we start heading further east, the low pressure that's moving through uh, today and tomorrow morning, um, clearing out by Saturday is going to, uh, you know, bring us some showers on and off during the day today and into Friday night into Saturday morning. Cut. Okay. Uh, we can't have you be the weather man, okay? Oh, no, it just, well, It's just, it's not going to work out. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll um, cut.
All right, looks like we're back here. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, so some of the local temperatures here this morning, we've got 45 Pittsfield, 49 North Adams, 46 up in Bennington over in New York State, uh, 44 Schenectady, and 45 in Saratoga Springs. And some of the regional temps all in the 40s pretty much. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, going way out uh, down... Uh, Toward Pennsylvania, out in Bradford, 56. You know, you got a couple 50s out there, but mostly everybody's pretty much in the 40s, some high 30s, like in the Springfield area. And looking at our six day, uh, we're in for a bit of a warm up. Uh, today, up to 83, Saturday, 85, 91, hazy, hot, and humid on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So we're going to be into a little bit of a heat wave and with a shower potential for at 88 on. Wednesday. <clears throat> Actually, that was my April Fool. So we all wished. Uh, 52 today. Uh, weekend's 50s. Might be a chance for a shower on Sunday. Uh, pretty seasonable for this time of year. 53 Monday, 54 Tuesday, and some shower potential for Wednesday in, in the 50s. You guys have a great weekend, and back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. That's going to be it for this decade show. If you have any news you'd like us to report, please write them down in letter form using crayon, put them in an envelope, hand it to a bird with the address to conictv at pittsfield.net, and maybe we'll cover it on our show. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and we'll see you all later. You probably thought this episode was over, didn't you? Well, guess what? April Fools! <laughs> I got all of you, except if you're one of those that doesn't watch the credits at all and aren't watching this right now. Uh, in that case, uh, more power to you. <laughs>